The question is, do you want new? Or are you so in love with old that new turns you off? Are you so in love with yesterday that you don't even want to see tomorrow? Consistency is showing up when you really don't feel like it. So what do you want to achieve this year? The circumstances that we are facing, there will be many more that will come our way. But we are strong, not just physically, not just mentally, but it is the warrior spirit inside that will push you through anything. And if you don't have a dream, this is the time to establish your dream. Rule number one, you need a dream. You need a goal. It's going to be up to you to nurture and protect that desire. Your mind should be so focused on winning that you have tunnel vision. It is time to press refresh. What does that mean? It means that it is time to become the newest, most updated version of who you are. So make your stand and fight hard and be strong every day. No weakness, no chance of giving in. Every year, every opportunity that we have been given, it would either make us or it would break us. You are not allowed to be broken. You are not allowed to give in. You are not allowed to say that it's over. You have to guard your hunger. And the only way you're gonna do that is if you eliminate all distractions out of your life. These are not your settling years, these are your conquering years. These are not your years where you just settle for an average marriage and settle for an average career and settle for an average worship life. No, this is the year that you decide, I want new, I want fresh, I want the real stuff. Let me tell you this, the wolf that is on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf that is climbing the hill. And so you gotta get hungry and you have to stay hungry. A dream without a deadline will become your nightmare. And that nightmare will haunt you for the rest of your life. Your dream might look like a long shot today, but if you align your daily routine with your goals, there is nowhere to go but up. You need to say, God, I need you to update me. I need you to refresh me. I need you to reload something in my life because a new year requires a new mindset, a new focus, and a new engagement on my part. Everybody say new. It is time to hit refresh. God is saying it's time to upload. It's time to say, God, what is the revelation you're giving to me now? See, I love January. I love the beginning of the year because this is the time of year we get to re hit refresh on every area of my life. I know there's a movement that says don't make New Year's revolu resolutions and they don't work, but I don't believe in that. Even if your resolution only lasts for six weeks, that's fine. What I I love is the process that you sat down and thought about where am I where am I trying to go what am I trying to get done what am I trying to do I know they say it's January here we go new year new me you need to say no this is a new season this is a new month this is a new year it is a new time for me to find out where am I going this is the time to ask yourself where are you where are you spiritually where are you at with God? How are you feeling spiritually? Are you dry or are you on fire? Are you dry or are you afresh? Where are you at spiritually? Where are you at relationally? Do, do people like you? Do you like you? If your mind is all over the place, you've got to take some time to clear your mind. Declutter your mind. Get clarity on what's serving you and what's not. Get clarity on what's pushing you closer to your goals and what's getting you off track. You see, your, your daily agenda, it determines your success. So what do you need to do every single day to set yourself up for success? Is it meditating? 
Is it hitting the gym? Is it making sales calls? Is it creating content? Whatever it is, it has to become a part of your daily routine. And know that a process will always proceed promotion. So the pressure that you experience usually mirrors the elevation that is coming. But once you decide what path you're gonna take, the key is to not look back. Focus on walking out your plan and don't major in the minor. There are some things that you put your time and energy into in the past that did more harm than good. But in this season, you've got to protect your energy and you can't overthink everything. Deliberately examine the landscape of your inner circle. Who in your life is not feeding you possibility who are you letting to infiltrate your mind on a daily basis what are you watching what are you listening to who has access to you and if they're not people that expand your awareness of what is possible then you have to eliminate them eliminate all distractions see let me tell you something in life you don't get what you want you get what you have to have. We don't get the list of what we should do done. We get the list of what we must do done. And then you gotta spend every single solitary day for the rest of your life going after that dream. What is your dream? This chance is all up to you and you alone. You the individual, you are the person, but then it comes to us as the people. We may not all think the same, but we all have the ability to come together in love, to be able to move on to the best thing in our lives. No more will we submit no more will we say we're done you're not done yet your life is still here you have it it is in you it is in us in 2021 here we come and we're gonna do what's necessary to live on strong to all the beautiful people in the world. I want you to be strong. I want you to continue to move forward. And from the bottom of my heart, 2021, we are one and we all must conduct our business. <laughs>